get a view. So we'll have this meter set up here with the front cover off. Give a good close look at this um, fiber drive um, gear. You can see it's slowly turning. The camera won't pick it up. Yeah. Gotta love these old um, magnetic induction type body meters. Very interesting. When I did the accuracy test on this, or that meter, it was actually measuring the power consumed by the um, potential coils as well. So that would have been a little bit extra, but yeah, allow for that, and yeah. And you can just see a little, that gear is turning very, very slowly, which drives this little readout, which is slowly turning. So if I get the camera over here, without bumping it too much. Might be able to see it. I think it's on it over on this side underneath here. You'll see it. Um, the, uh, yeah, it's hard to see. Can't get the camera in a good spot. I was going to show that young gears behind here turning. You should be able to see it here. But the camera might pick it up. If I had the HD camcorder, you'd be able to pick out the gears turning slowly in detail. This one here won't do that. The quality is not good enough. But there's a little grub screw on that gear. You can see it slowly turning, moving. And there's a big switch contacts. And there's a coin mechanism in there. And you can see a little indicators on the wheel, hand painted. This looks professionally painted, the marking on the wheel. But this one here is actually hand painted. So there's a little bit of scraping here in the bottom disc. Something's gotten caught in the magnet. I've actually I've fixed that in the previous videos. But apart from the minor scuffs and cosmetic marks, it's pretty well good. That's just a 10 amp load, so this heater. Switch the heater off, and it stops. There's the um, current coil at the top and the voltage coil or the potential coil on the bottom. And that's actually um, inducing a flux that way, a magnetic flux to push the disc. And this one's going this way to make it move with the current that's going through. Them. There you go, everything's just all screwed together. That's amazing, the quality of this like a, but look, Almost like a built by a professional watch, watchmaker. Very good quality stuff. Getting pretty warm. Say so the cord. Almost on the two. Almost is uh, almost a kilowatt hour I use there. Lot to admire in these old meters. I 
and there's the gears behind there to drive the um, radio. Just love looking at these things and moving very slowly. Just interesting. There's another look at the underneath here. Behind the gears, so the shit of Geneva wheels and everything there. And there's the top. And there's the um, mechanism for the pair permit mechanism. Oh, most of the calibre I use there. A little checker plate pattern in the disc. Okay, if it always power off. Three. Oh, look at that mark on the disc, centred. Three, two, one. There, power's off. The discs are moving on their own now. That's what's called creep. Okay, viewers, I've also um, sprayed this coin box with silicon spray. It's much better now. It goes in that way because I lock the. You know, make sure these go in the right way, otherwise, this doesn't work. So that's going to be in position, so facing down. That slides in perfectly now. I could never get this thing out by hand, I had to get a, you see um, even the previous centers had trouble. If you used a screwdriver to hack it out, but I'm not going to be able to pull this out by hand now. Getting it started is a bit of a challenge because it locks into the top here, but once you get it out of there you can just pull it out with your hand easily now. So, I've also put some silicon spray in this. That's much, much better now, so yeah, the mood is all fully completely restored. Hey cat. Puss, puss, puss. This cat is a bit hungry today. What do you want, Charlotte? Hey, what do you want? What do you want? Hey, what do you want? <coughs> Oi. You're trying to bite my finger, aren't you? You're getting a bit affectionate today, aren't you? Okay, well, that's enough for today's sake. Oh, she wants more. You want more, eh? It's that, look when your saliva all over me. Look at that, eh? Thanks for watching.